Is this thing on? Okay, yes. Hi everyone, this is Margot from Point Brush, and we're gonna take a little uh, break this week from you know the regular art and ballet videos because this video is going to be my very first life update video. After a year on YouTube, I know, where does the time go, right? Um, this is going to be my very first vloggy video, which is also gonna be a very special announcement. So for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you may or may not have noticed that I've been a little bit patchy and, and um, a little bit more sporadic with my posting, especially of my stories. And um, uh, some people were even asking me whether I was still taking ballet class, where the ballet class shares have gone, and if I'm still painting and still dancing and all that good stuff. And the answer is yes, and sort of. <laughs> Um, it's just been a little bit different. So without further ado, I wanna share my special news with you all, which is that I am expecting a baby in November. We recently found out that it's a girl, um, and my family and I are just over the moon and so excited. Um, and I have actually just entered my second trimester. Honestly, I didn't want to share the news prematurely because I wanted to make sure that my health and the health of the baby were okay first. And I also wanted to give um, like I said, myself and my family, a little bit of time, you know, and a little bit of privacy to enjoy these first few months together. Um, though enjoy is kind of a funny word, and we'll get to that in a second. So um, I found out that I was pregnant in March, and like most women who find out that they're expecting, it's because I started feeling really, really sick. And I mean really sick. This is not my first rodeo, and you know, I had a son, my son, five years ago, uh, but the experience of that pregnancy and this one have been so vastly different. Um, when I was pregnant with my son, I was like superwoman. You know, I had energy, I was strong, I was unstoppable. I, you know, walked you know, every day to, to ballet class in the searing summer heat, took two hours of ballet without breaking a sweat, came back, you know, it was no problem at all. This time around though, um, you know, it has been very intense. Uh, the experience has been totally different. So this time I had severe morning sickness and um, very severe exhaustion, like all day morning till midnight, you know, food poisoning level sickness and fatigue that like no amount of rest and sleep could relieve. Um, thankfully though, you know, now that I'm on my second trimester, a lot of that has, you know, eased up a little bit. And so I, I'm getting a little bit of relief from that. Um, but I think that mostly because I'm the type of person who likes to be in control of myself and my environment, and I'm someone who likes to be, you know, busy and hustle and work, you know, um, I had a little bit of a hard time stepping back and, and accepting that, you know, I wasn't going to be able to do all the things that I was expecting to be able to do. So I've been dancing less because, you know, just out of sheer exhaustion. And, um, I've also had to take some steps back, both in my art as well as my business, uh, to allow more time for me to, to rest and to just feel, feel well, um, which, has been, which has been a hard adjustment, I will be honest with you. Um, like a lot of people who are dancers and entrepreneurs, and I happen to be both, it's, it's kind of hardwired into your brain that like being successful and being hardworking is contingent on just being, you know, grinding and hustling all the time. So taking a break is something that feels very foreign to me. And, you know, I, I used to equate that with being lazy or taking shortcuts when, you know, in this case, obviously, or in a lot of cases, it couldn't be farther from the truth. So that's taken some, you know, some adjustments and caring for myself, not just physically, but, you know, mentally as well, you know, that has to take priority right now. It's been really, you know, it's been really humbling and a humbling experience because I was kind of expecting the second pregnancy to follow in the footsteps of my first. And funny enough, my doctor said to me that, you know, just like no two children or no two people are alike, um, you know, no two pregnancies are alike either, which I think is, pretty wild and very, very fascinating. So anyway, that's what's been cooking in the oven, literally. Um, in other news, I've been busy with planning new products for Point Brush, a couple of new collaborations in the works, which I'm really excited to share. And also I've been prepping my licensing library, which 
if you follow me on, um, on Instagram, I took you guys on a little backstage tour of, of how that's developing. Um, if you want to see that uh, here on YouTube as well, just leave me a, a message in the comments because you know, I, I don't know if you guys are interested as far as the art community in that kind of content, but let me know. Um, but basically what I want to do is be able to offer my entire art library, which is comprised of hundreds upon hundreds of original artwork that I've done over the years, and to be able to offer that to partners and businesses and collaborators and, um, you know, all that, that good stuff so that the world of Point Brush can, you know, grow and exist beyond just what I can do within, you know, Point Brush headquarters, so to speak. So needless to say, I've had a full plate what with working you know, full time on two businesses and parenting a five-year-old with my husband, Steve, who by the way, has been incredible. Like through the fears, the anxiety, the exhaustion, you know, he's been my pillar and my rock that have kept you know, this whole ship afloat when I felt like I was sinking. So whenever I had low moments, when I just felt like I wasn't myself and not able to do the things that I love and um, you know, just didn't feel fully like myself. You know, he was always reminding me that, you know, you're growing another human being. It's obviously gonna take so much energy from your entire body. So MVP award goes to him for the past few months for just being, um, just an amazing husband and father to our to our family. So I'm sure everyone is wondering now if I'll be taking a break and if anything is going to be changing or going away over here at Point Brush. And I'd be lying if I were to say that there aren't gonna be any adjustments. But the important thing I think to point out is that I'm not going anywhere. Um, scheduling might fluctuate a little bit depending on what's going on, what happens in the next couple of months, you know, as we welcome another newborn into our home. But, this community and all of you matter so much to me that it's always going to be a priority for me. So I'll be, I'll be here, I'll be posting, I'll be sharing, I'll be creating and um, you know, taking you with me as I embark on new adventures. But there's definitely gonna be you know, some adjustments as I learn to navigate the next chapter. And on that note, if there are any topics you'd like to see me cover here on YouTube, whether it's art related or dance related or even pregnancy related, um, just let me know in the comments below because I don't know if any of you are interested, but since I'm in the midst of it all right now, um, the timing couldn't be better. So if there's any art and pregnancy or ballet and pregnancy kind of topics, just let me know in the comments below. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and for following me, DMing me, commenting, all of that. I'm so proud of the community and friendships that I've built here on YouTube and on Instagram. And I'm just, I'm just really thankful for it all. So um, yeah, for my YouTube subscribers, we will be getting back to regular programming next week. And I have some really amazing and fun videos lined up. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week.